and a very warm welcome to our 2020 St George's course celebration. I'm Professor Jane Safell, the Deputy Principal for Education. Over the last few rather challenging months, I've really valued the opportunity to engage with so many students, be it personally or um, via the various video and uh, question and answer sessions we've held. And I think it's a real privilege to be able to share this moment with you today. Since we have had to postpone the graduation ceremony in the Barbican, uh, we wanted to mark your achievement with an opportunity for you to celebrate with your friends, with your family, and with all those who've supported you through these years. Um, we've invited a number of people connected with St George's or with the programme to contribute messages, which we'll be following shortly. And uh, there's also an opportunity for you to post messages of your own if you would like to. You've come through your final year at a truly extraordinary time. I, I don't think any of us are going to forget it, are we? Um, I'd like to offer my personal congratulations to you all, um, not least for the way that you've faced these many challenges of the last few months. And some of, our, of you I know have had to do this in really difficult circumstances. You've all shown real determination and commitment. And whether you have graduated or whether you have some uh, assessments to uh, finish first, uh, your achievement is immense. And I would like to offer all good wishes to you for your future and the paths that you take in your life beyond St George's. Um, and now I'm delighted to pass you on to our principal, Professor Jenny Hyam, for her to offer her congratulatory messages to you. So all the best from me and goodbye. Welcome everybody. Whether you're a recent student at St George's, family, friends and other supporters. It's lovely to see you. You are the 2020 cohort that will be inextricably linked forever with the COVID virus pandemic. And of course, one of the many memories that you'll have is the fact that this celebration is virtual and online. And I think probably quite far away from the type of celebrations that you thought you'd be having at this stage. We will in due course be back at the Barbican and formally graduating, and that's a day I love. I think the atmosphere is fantastic and it's a wonderful celebration and testimony to the hard work and achievement of you all. I have to say that a virtual celebration feels much more impersonal for me but also has the added advantage that I don't need to worry that my hat's going to fall off, which is always a bit of a tension in graduation ceremony. And I know some of the students say to me, one of their fears is tripping up along the stage. This end of term is going to be very different. And I think the thing that we underestimate in ourselves often is how hard it's been and how we've had to adapt to what are very unusual and stressful circumstances. You've done really brilliantly to show the focus and commitment needed to complete your studies. You've had to interact in a very different way with learning materials and also with the examination process. St George's is a very friendly community and that friendliness has been preserved and I hope that you've managed to have conversations in the virtual world, along with all the friends that you would have expected. And perhaps in due course, you'll also physically be able to meet. I'm really proud of all the contributions that everybody's made, whether it's through volunteering, through going early into practice, through helping their local community and supporting their families too diverse a range of things people have done to mention, but all of you have done well. Once you leave St George's, it's not the end of our relationship. You become an alumnus 
and I hope that we will be in touch for the long term. We'd love to know how you get on, your future progress. We also like to make connections between you and the next group and cohort of people who study at St George's. They find that your reflections and what happens next is of great interest and support. So I thank you in advance for that. So to conclude, many congratulations again. Before I sign off, I just want to introduce the next video which has been recorded by the Chancellor of the University of London. She doesn't normally do this, but it's a reflection of the COVID times in which we live. And so we're next going to hear from Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal. Graduating students of 2020, congratulations on attaining your degree particularly given the circumstances in which you completed the last few months of your studies. Every student experience is unique, but I think everyone will remember 2020 as different. Whenever I attend University of London engagements, I'm constantly struck by the enthusiasm and energy that you display for your studies and the range and achievements of your non-academic activities. With the world facing challenges none of us could have envisaged a few short months ago, and at a pace that requires flexibility and innovation, the skills and knowledge that you have acquired while at university are needed now more than ever to help reshape the future for us all. Your institution will support you now and into the future in your endeavours. While you may be missing the formal graduation ceremony this year, I hope you will retain the friends, the experiences and the knowledge you gain during your studies. They will all be part of your foundation for the future. Once again, my congratulations and I wish you every success as you embark on the next stage of your lives. Graduating class of 2020. I have to be honest, I was really looking forward to this moment. I wanted to make sure that the speech this year was a lot more funny, a lot more inspiring, and I actually wanted to get a much better reaction from the audience. But as I sit here in my office, studio, bedroom, workspace, and everything else this place has been for the past few months, I realized that as I'm delivering this, that won't be possible, at least for now. So. For the rest of this, I'm going to pretend that every joke I've made is funny and that everything I've said, all of you are enjoying. Being a student has got so many challenges. Everyone thinks it's so easy, but they forget all of the different obstacles and hurdles you have to go through. They forget about the times when you say you will not submit another assignment last minute. And then surely enough, a few months down the road, you submit an assignment last minute and you regret not fulfilling your promise. They forget about the times when you have to make those executive decisions during exams of how many lectures you're going to miss versus how many nights of sleep you're going to miss. And you have to weigh up the pros and cons. Not easy to do. They forget about the strict financial discipline a student needs to pay their rent, pay their bills, get the chance to go out with their friends, and maybe in between get the chance to eat and drink a little bit as well with the limited student budget that they have. Again, it's not easy. Being a student really does have so many challenges and you, class of 2020, you not only overcame those challenges, but you managed to survive through one of the most difficult and challenging and unique circumstances and points in history that there has ever existed. At a time when there has been so much uncertainty so much going on in the political world and the way that we are reflecting and looking at things as a, as a society is changing, you have been able to get through all of that. Above everything else, I want you to remember and I want you to realize that I, the staff and lecturers and everyone else at the university and your family and friends are so proud of you and what you have achieved through these difficult times. Well done.
at a university like St. George's, you get the chance to work with so many different people from so many different backgrounds and with so many different career paths ahead. And you learn that what's important when working in a team is not to have this mentality that you are the best in the team, but being the best for the team. And this is a message that the current circumstances with the pandemic have made us realize all the more. And this lesson is so important moving ahead. During these times when you see people talk about burning bridges with our neighbors and building great big walls to stop people from coming in, I want you to remember the George's spirit and what we have learned so far moving forward onto the next chapters in our life, not just as professionals, but as leaders of change in our society. Now, I don't want to give the impression that all the difficult things in life and all the challenges are gone and over. I'm sorry, but this is just the start. But the difference is now, you have the tools, the skills, and the resilience to move forward and to be able to tackle them as you go through the different stages in your life. And what's better, you now have so many friends and family around you who have gone through this journey with you, who will support you and remember to use them for support and help. I want to finish by saying congratulations to every single one of you. You have shown great spirit and I'm so proud to be able to be your president this year. Thank you so much. Welcome graduates, family and friends to this online celebration. It's sad that we couldn't be together at the Barbican, but I look forward to the time when we can meet up. It's been a turbulent few months. We've all had to learn to do things differently. I'm recording this message from my dining room. Placement ended abruptly, and so therefore we had to find a way of assessing you remotely and on the things that you hadn't done. Dissertations had, had to be changed in some instance because data couldn't be collected. The final exams were held in your bedrooms or anywhere quiet. And I'm sure it must have been a challenge if you had siblings wandering around the house making noise. I know I've got one next, a, a small daughter making noise in the background now. But you did it, you made it, and congratulations. It has been a massive team effort to get to this stage. And I would like to thank you for persevering with us while we dealt with this situation. It has been unprecedented. St George's University of London has been a major part of your lives for the last three, four years. You've, it has played a pivotal role in shaping you as the future physiologist. As a cohort, you've had to, you have shown dedication and flexibility. And during the last few months, your calm and good nature has made it a pleasure to work with you and to know you all. I hope you are all very proud of yourselves. I know I'm very proud of you all. As the pandemic subsides, and I hope very much that it is subsiding, you will be joining an N the NHS at a pivotal moment. There has been a national recognition for the staff working within the NHS. Every sector is being valued, and while physiological sciences is still under underrepresented, there is a renewed sense of hope within the profession that people working tirelessly behind the scenes will continue to foster relationships and to promote the, the profession. I just want you to know that you are valued and your contribution will have a lasting effect on your patients' lives. As you go forward in your new careers or further study, and I know some of you have already gained employment, there will be challenges. There are no guarantees that this degree you've worked very hard for will get you the job of your dreams. I sincerely hope so. There are no guarantees that it will make you happy. Some of you may not even want to be a physiologist and may be thinking, oh, what do I do now? 
I don't know if I've got the answers. But what I would like to give you a little piece of advice is to think about what you want to do in life. What do you love to do? And follow that passion. Don't let anybody say that you can't do something. If you want to be a doctor and you want to go and study medicine, then get the qualifications. If you need to get a master's, get a master's. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do, do something. Strive to get to reach your goal. You may take the scenic route, but you'll get there in the end. We all only have one life to live. Live it to the fullest. Now I'm going to get off my soapbox and I'd like to mention a special congratulations to Agnes and Fatima for receiving the top prizes in cardiology and respiratory sleep physiology. And Fatima also received the Principal's Prize. Congratulations to you both and congratulations to all of you. You did it. We will now hear from other members of the healthcare science, healthcare science team who would also like to say their congratulations. I would like to take this opportunity to offer my congratulations and best wishes for the exciting futures for all, our, all of our healthcare science students and more specifically to the respiratory sleep physiology students. As a small group, I have thoroughly enjoyed our friendly, interactive, informative sessions and discussions around respiratory and sleep physiology and seen how you have translated your academic knowledge into your clinical practice, worked as part of teams to always improve the quality and care for your patients. I know many of you already have jobs in physiology lined up, that's great, and further study on highly competitive STP training programmes. I'm therefore honoured to be part of your exciting young futures and look forward over the coming years to see how you further develop as people, as scientists, as clinicians, researchers, leaders and innovators. It certainly has been a challenging year for all of us with the COVID pandemic. The NHS now needs your high quality skills more than ever. Go out there and show them how good you all are. I also want to say just a big thank you to your families who are probably by your sides today, who supported you throughout your studies. I know they're all immensely proud of your achievements. Best wishes to you all for the future. Hello and welcome to the course celebration for Healthcare Science 2020. I'd like to join the rest of the team in congratulating you all on achieving your degrees. Um, you've worked very hard and it's been particularly challenging, especially in the last few months. So well done for forging ahead and you can be proud of where you've got to today. Um, congratulations also to your friends and family who I'm sure have been supporting you all the way. Um, it's been my pleasure to work with you on professional practice. Um, for the last three years, I've loved interacting with all of you. Um, I've enjoyed our discussions and our chats throughout. Um, good luck to you all in whatever you're going to do in the future. I know that some of you already have jobs to go to, so well done there. Um, and maybe you'll find yourselves in a few years' time mentoring other students from the healthcare science course, so you might be able to think back to how it feels. Um, good luck to all of you who are going on to take extra degrees. I'm sure if you put in the work that you've done for this course, you will simply fly. And for those of you who haven't quite made up your mind what to do next, wishing you all the very best for the future. Um, congratulations once again. You've done amazingly well and should be extremely proud of yourself. Um, so enjoy the rest of the day and think about how far you've come from that student that arrived three years ago. Hello everyone. I would normally be sitting on a stage at this point, clapping until my hands hurt, to let you all know how proud I am of you. You've transformed yourselves from those nervous, uncertain school kids into a, a team of wonderful professionals who are ready to go out into the workplace and make a positive difference to people's lives. 
Well done, all of you. It's been a wonderful journey so far, but it is, of course, just the beginning. You're going to go out into the world. Never stop learning. Never stop striving to improve. Never stop caring. And it will be a wonderful journey. And you have my best wishes for that. So, hello, students. Uh, it's me with uh, Stephanie with the uh, lockdown hairstyle, as you can see. Um, and... I just want to say congratulations on your achievement. Uh, you are now graduates. You are cardiac physiologists. It's so exciting. Some of you are going on to do masters. I'm so proud of you. And some of you will be going to work in departments. And it's just a really, really exciting time. And um, I'm so proud of you all. And I won't say too much more because I just get all tearful because I always get very tearful at these times. Um, I, it was a great pleasure. It was a, my pleasure um, teaching you and um, you were a really, really lovely group. And um, yeah, well, I hope you do well in the future. I know you will do well. So uh, it's just fantastic. OK, congratulations, everybody. Hi everyone, this is Theresa Matthew, one of your fellow 2020 Healthcare Science graduates. Firstly, I'd just like to say we made it. I'd like to send a huge congratulations to each and every one of you for revising, writing up dissertations, completing all of our final assignments during global pandemic. I know these last few months was not how we expected to finish this degree, but I know this is a time that we'll look back on and be really proud of for getting through it. On behalf of the respiratory students, Tavarika, Fatima, Isaac and Jahida, I'd like to thank all of our families, friends, lecturers and mentors for helping us through this journey. I'd like to extend a special thank you to Martin Bucknell for his unending support and guidance in helping us become the best respiratory and sleep physiologists that we can be. I know that most of us have now got jobs lined up, so I can't wait to see all of you excel in this field and wish everyone all success for the future. Hello everyone. My name is Michael Leach, a fellow cardiac physiology graduate in the class of 2020. Firstly, I'd like to say a massive congratulations to everyone who's graduating this year. Your achievements during a pandemic are a testimony to the calibre of students that 2020 has produced. I know that a lot of us already have some new roles lined up, and that's really exciting. However, I understand that for many of us, it might be quite daunting going from the lecture hall to the front line, especially during a time like this, and that's entirely understandable. So I'd like to remind you again of what we've accomplished to get here. I have no doubt that because of the challenges of the past few months, we'll be more resilient and more compassionate physiologists that the NHS needs. I also want to say a huge thank you to the friends, family and the university teaching staff especially who have supported us to make this day possible. I'd now like to invite you to join us in saying the St George's Pledge. I'd now like to invite all of you to say the pledge along with me. I pledge myself and promise I will respect the learning and achievements of those professionals in whose steps I walk and gladly share such knowledge as is mine with those who are to follow. I will apply to benefit humanity all measures which are required. I will remember that there is an art to all professional endeavours and that warmth, compassion and understanding may equal any other intervention. I will not be ashamed to say I know not nor will I fail to call on my colleagues when the knowledge or skills of another are needed. I will respect the privacy of my fellow human beings, for their problems are not disclosed to me that the world may know. Most especially, I must tread with care where others place their trust in me. I will relate my work to the human state, which may affect a person's family and economic stability. I remember that I remain a member of society with special obligations to all my fellow human beings, including the most vulnerable and marginalised. I make this declaration solemnly freely and in humility. Congratulations again to all of the new graduates and I wish you all the best in the future. I started by saying that I wish that we could have been at the Barbican in person so I could smile at you as you walked across the stage shake, to shake the principal's hand. Although, to tell the truth, I wasn't looking forward to saying some of it, having to pronounce some of your surnames. But all joking aside, I just want to say congratulations and I wish you all the very, very best in, for the future, wherever life takes you. 
and I hope to see you again on placement when I come to visit the, the other years, the other students. So please continue to with the online celebration by uploading messages and memories to Flipgrid and share your celebrations with your friends and your fellow graduates by using the social media you call hashtag proudly St George's. I don't think I said that correctly. It has been my pleasure as course director to be a little bit, to be a part of your educational journey.